it's Miss Jackson here. I hope everybody's okay and ready for another phonics session. Right, before we start, let's check that we, you're all showing me the four good listening rules. Okay, so are you sitting still? Staying quiet? Looking at the person who is talking? and listening to all of the words. I know you can do it now, everybody. Right, so let's recap on what our sound has been this week. Can anybody tell they're grown up? That's right, our sound has been P, P for penguin. And just a reminder that we never ever say P and add that U uh on the end. We always say P, and that's why our action of puffing out the candle helps us. P. Well done, everybody. So, just as a recap, the pictures that uh, the objects that we have found this week that all start with P have been a pen. P for pen. We found a pig. P for Pig. We also had a pot. P for pot. And finally, we had a pan. P for pan. Well done, everybody. Okay. Now we're going to play a little game. Are you ready? Now, I've got our four sounds that we have done so far. Let's recap them all, see if you can say them with me. Ready? S, A, T, P. Well done, everybody. Now, I'm going to hide this little marble under one of the cups and you have to see if you can guess where it is. Are you ready? Now, I can't have any cheaters. So, everybody close your eyes. Well done, are those eyes closed? And I'm going to hide the marble. Are you ready? I hope nobody was cheating. So, do you think the marble is under S, A, T, or P? Tell your grown up which one you think it's under. Hmm, I think the marble is under Let's have a look. No, there's no marble there. Hmm, maybe it's under t, t. Yay, can you see the marble, everybody? It was under t. Shall we have one more go? Okay, close those eyes. No cheating. Okay, open your eyes, everybody. No. Where do you think the marble is hiding this time? I think it's going to be under T again. Let me lift it up. No, it's not there this time. Hmm. Maybe it's under this week's sound. P. Let's lift it up and have a look. Are you ready? Keep looking. Yes! There it is, everybody. Can you see the marble? Okay, now we're going to go on to another game. I'm going to hold this board really, really close to the screen and I want you to see if you can point to this week's sound P. Remember, it's the letter P, but it makes our sound P. So, I'm going to lean it right forward. Can you pause the video and point to the sound P for me? Well done, everybody. I can see one there and another one there. And another one there. Well done, everybody, if you found all three. Okay, our final game for today. I'm going to move our sounds up to here. And we're going to see if we can match the sound to the picture. I really need your help with this one, though. Please, can you help me? Okay. So, which one of these pictures starts with the sound you can pause the video if you want to have a little think. I have got a pizza, T, 
tomato, sun or apple. Which picture starts with s? That's right, sun, sun. So I need to draw my line all the way from there down to s for sun. I'm going to give myself a little smiley face under there because I've got it right. Well done. Thank you for helping me, everybody. Now, the next one is ah. That's right. Ah. Ah. Hmm. Pizza. Does that start with ah? Pizza. Hmm. I'm not sure. Tomato. Tomato. Or apple. Ah. Apple. Ah. Apple. Yes, I think it does. A uh, for apple. Well done, everybody. Okay, the next one is t. t. Okay, so is it t for pizza or t for tomato? You can pause the video while you have a think and talk to your grown-ups if you want to. That's right. For tomato. And finally, it must be p for pizza. Listen carefully. P for pizza. I think we're right. Now I've joined them all up to the correct picture. Thank you for helping me, everybody. You've worked really hard in phonics today. Happy learning, and I hopefully I will see you all soon, ready for phonics tomorrow. Bye, everybody.